SSL handshake. For the SSL handshake, we need to create a computer or a client. Then we need a server. This is our client. This is our server. Let's call it techcloud.in. So before SSL handshake, client and server form first of all TCP handshake. They form the TCP handshake. For the TCP handshake, they form now client will send a SYN packet to the server on behalf of that SYN packet server will reply to the client with a SYNAC packet means server is saying that I am synchronizing and acknowledging on the packet on behalf of that client will reply back to the server stating about the acknowledgement with acknowledgement packet so this is how TCP handshake happen if you want to know more about TCP handshake there is already a video created the link will be in the description please go and watch it now let's move to SSL handshake okay so SSL handshake now we know the TCP handshake is completed first in and this is our client so client first of all the client will send a packet or a message that will be called as client hello that will be called as client hello in the client hello the client will send SSL protocol version the protocol version right now we discuss protocol version 1 2 or 3 so any of the protocol version client can send to the server along with protocol version it will send a session ID with session ID it will send list of cipher suits and also client hello extension so these all information will be sent by the client to server between the client hello inside the client hello now on behalf of that client hello server will reply to the client with its server hello this reply will called as server hello so inside the server hello similar information will be there like SSL protocol version then session ID then selected C for suit server certificate and then server hello extension so these all information will be sent by server so the similar information is there SSL protocol version session ID C for suit server hello but server hello and server certificate is the different one client has sent client hello server will send server hello specific to the server certificate now on behalf of these all information client will do it will called as server authentication for the server authentication client need to verify some information inside the certificate client will evaluate the certificate and verify some information which will like 
the first thing it will verify that will be a valid date you might have seen there is a date mentioned in the certificate that is state that whether this certificate is valid or not so it will identify the valid date means the date should be active date should be a active date now the second thing it will check that is certificate authority certificate authority is someone who authorize a certificate or who authorize a domain certificate authority so whether this certificate authority is trusted or not so this certificate authority should be trusted third information it will check it will check the digital signature digital signature will be verified by using the certificate authority public key this three information has verified now the fourth important information will be verified that is domain so what it will verify in the domain right now the client is requesting for techcloud.in so this techcloud.in should be in the certificate as well so when client will evaluate the certificate it should be same domain as requested by client you can say client has requested for techcloud.in so techcloud.in also should be in the domain in the certificate once this all information has verified by the client now client will move for a creation that is pre master secret let's see how this create the pre master secret let me remove this first i hope you are able to understand if you have any query please let me know in the comment okay now let's see how this client create the pre master key inside the pre master sorry uh, inside the certificate client will also receive a public key so that public key will be called as server public key so the client will create a pre master secret client will create its pre master secret and encrypt this pre master secret with server public key it will encrypt this pre master secret with the public key and send to the server server will now use its private key to decrypt the pre master secret and form the pre master secret so now server will use pre private key and create its pre master pre master secret is created by now server what is actually a pre master key is so the pre master secret has combination of cipher keys which both client and server use to generate a master secret and also this pre master key is a symmetric key so this pre master is a asymmetric key
asymmetric means simply we can understand that it will be a different key for client and a different key for server the key will not be same now once now once they have successfully created the pre master secret and on behalf of that pre master secret they have created a master key so now they will calculate this master key to create a key that is called as session key and this session key is a symmetric key so here we get to know a symmetric key that will be a different key for each of them now they will use a session key that is a symmetric key so this is a single key for encryption and decryption now once they have successfully formed the session key the client will send a client finish to the server client finish message to the server and server will send server finish to the client once they have successfully finished the client and server now they has formed the ssl handshake and they are ready to exchange the actual message they are ready to exchange the actual message in encrypted form this is how ssl handshake happen i hope you are able to understand this now if you have any query please reply in the comment and let us know also please do like comment share and subscribe with everyone thank you for watching